So this is the airplane of uh, Mr. Gaddafi. This was Colonel Gaddafi's most obvious escape route, blocked by NATO. So we'll come to show you around. The dictator's very own Gaddafi Air Force plane. One. So this is one of his uh, chilling areas, him and his uh, crew. Inside, Can't it's first-class in living. This all the luxury showers, in here. TVs, yeah. This is for his security. Wally Dana from the brigade which took the airport a week Luxury last Friday one. is proud of his conquest. And Riyad Musbar is proud of Gaddafi's plane, carefully repairing it for the last six years. What we have is uh, for, uh, some damages to the skin of the aircraft mm -hmm. and uh, we have three uh, big holes. It is from uh, fragments, you know, from the rockets and things, so it touches the skins of the aircraft. Shrapnel. Shrapnel, yes. His bedroom is in the front of the plane. And with his luxury bathroom and jacuzzi and everything. He had a jacuzzi on the front. Yeah. And th those one of the special forces of Zintan, they are the first people who entered the airport and secured very well. Was it a big fight for the airport? It was indeed. It was indeed, because he didn't want to lose the airport. Outside, on the runway, the damage is evident, blamed on Gaddafi. Who damaged them? Who else? Who else would damage anything for the Libyans? Only Gaddafi. We are in the private bedroom of Mr. Gaddafi. That's his bed. His sofa. What TV. Is on this, then? TV, video, DVD players, Every CD player. Everything to keep him updated. The airport remains closed. No one is flying anywhere, but then nor is Colonel Gaddafi.